On March 16, Midjourney rolled out the alpha version of their latest algorithm V5. This update focuses on better designs and is more responsive to prompts. In this video, we are going to dive deep into everything version 5 has to offer. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Avinash Aswal from AI Dynamics. Before starting, please note that Mid Journey version 5 is only available to the paid members. If you are a free user, you may have to wait around a bit. Having said that, let's get started. To switch to version 5, type settings in Discord and select MJ version 5. Alternatively, you can also type V5 after your prompts. In earlier versions the generated images were 512 pixels in size and to produce a high resolution image of 1024 pixels you had to upscale it however the upscaled versions were never identical to the initial image but now midjourney produces high resolution 1024 pixels images by default the trade off is that the behavior of the u that is upscale button has changed clicking on one separates the selected image from the initial image grid but will not further upscale an image this means that upscaling will no longer consume gpu minutes the variation command has also been improved significantly in earlier versions it produced subpar results with anomalies here and there but now it is functioning as it should another noticeable change is that the light and beta upscale buttons has now been removed You can always use Photoshop or an online image upscaler like Upscale Media to generate higher resolution images for free. I'll provide a link to it in the description. There have been significant changes to the way prompts should be written. It is recommended to write prompts in the form of complete sentences as opposed to using keywords separated by commas as was done in earlier versions. Now to achieve photographic quality in your generations use stylized zero parameter whereas a value closer to 1000 will produce more artistic results also note in v5 mid journey will produce photographic results by default version 5 boasts of a remarkable enhancement in the photographic quality of generated images in earlier versions there were issues with the accuracy of fingers and teeth count which led to unrealistic images this issues has been resolved resulting in images which are natural looking and life like images wait are back it accepts values from 0.5 to 2.0 by using the iw parameter you can increase the influence of an image reference in your generated image higher image weight values mean the image prompt will have more impact on your finished job By the way if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more informative contents like this The tile parameter has returned in version 5 it is used for seamless repetition of tiles Here I am using a pattern making tool seamless pattern checker to test the tile repetition I'll put a link to it in the description Additionally, Midjourney has announced that any aspect ratio can now be used to define the dimension of an image. However, it should be noted that this feature is currently experimental and may produce inconsistent results for aspect ratios greater than 2 is to 1. Keep in mind that this is still in alpha stage. It means that things may get changed in future as Midjourney version 5 gets a full release. Also if you want to know more about some of the commands and parameter that I have used here I have explained it in great detail in this video be sure to check it out see you in next video until then take care bye bye